So I've been giving my Cobra 148 GTLs some uh, some extra love as of recently. I don't know why, but um, been kind of playing a lot with with my 148s. Uh, I go back and forth, uh, but anyway, I had mentioned in the last video that I was thinking about putting a 10 turn clarifier pot and uh, or potentiometer for the clarifier in one of my 148s that I have unlocked. And I did that just now. You know, no big deal. So there it is right there. And we'll key it up real quick. You can just see the output frequency. So we'll look at it over here on the frequency counter. So we're keyed up now. And there's our pot. And I'll adjust it just barely. And I'll just swing it all the way to one side. There we go, about, what was that? It's about uh, four kilohertz up one way, four and a half kilohertz up. A little back the other way. And we are, holy cow. That's about eight kilohertz in the counterclockwise direction. That's about middle, I think. No, I guess not. Where's metal? We'll find you here sometime. But yeah, stable. I think it'll sound better on uh, sideband this way, a little easier to clarify people in. Let's find out. Let's uh, let's put it into the into the uh, antenna outside here, and we'll listen. Yeah, much, much easier, much easier. I like that. Yeah, I like that. So um, I just, uh, you know, wiring up is is not a big deal. Uh, you know, it's only th three legs on the pot, just like the old one. Here's the old twenty k that came out of it there, and. Um, I just just use this. I used to use this when I would uh, put new tuning machines on some of my guitar uh, headstocks, um, and I could just sit here right here at the bench and just auger out just enough uh, for what I needed to get the uh, the new shaft diameter of the pot uh, through a newly augered out hole. So yeah, it fit right in there. No big deal. I'll just get the uh, face plate back on and we'll button it up and we'll take a look, one last look at it. So. Yeah, there you go, guys. 10 turn clarifier. 20K pot, same value as the original uh, clarifier pot that came out of there. So no change as far as that's concerned. Well, we'll be back in a minute. All right, we're back. It's back together. And, uh, yeah, it's all done. Of course, nobody's talking. figures. There we go. Yeah. Works pretty good. I just uh I just uh just transmitted on the keyed up on the radio with a single tone, uh one kilohertz tone at thirty millivolts and then just watched my frequency output on the uh, frequency counter and got it centered up and then um uh, push the knob on. I drilled the knob out uh, with a drill press. Um, I didn't get it drilled out quite far enough. I was a little conservative. I didn't want to punch through the face of it and ruin it. So it could stand to be uh, drilled out a little deeper. So I'll, I'll probably end up doing that at some point. But yeah, it works pretty good. It was uh, it was something fun to play around with. Uh, worth it if you have a 148 um, with an unlocked clarifier and you're just using the standard unlock procedure, this is definitely something to consider. Gives you a little bit more, uh, or less slide, I should say, for sure, to uh, help you dial in somebody a little cleaner and quicker. So, uh, yeah, 
I guess that's about it. 73 is everybody, and we'll see you next time.